Bonjour, ni hao. Welcome back to the Game Boys channel. I'm Johnny. And I'm Tim. And today we're here with a mystery pin, pin unboxing. unboxing. So before we start and she runs away, I want to say, there's Tati. You guys have missed her and been asking where she's been. Hola, konnichiwa, ciao, Tati. <laughs> Meow. She's really in a summery mood today, too. Meow. <laughs> oh, she had there she goes. To say. So with summer ending, we thought it would be the perfect time to do like some kind of summery themed pin mystery pins. We do have three different sets here, and they are all lounge fly pins, which they've been killing it with the game lately, with so many new ones that we've been obsessed with. So yes. So we'll just kind of show the back of the box before we open up the sets. Which ones do you want to start with? I'm most excited for the treats and the ice cream, so let's do the stitch ones first. Okay. So they do have, yet again, another stitch series. I believe this is actually like the third, maybe yeah. fourth. But um, the front of the box has the standard Disney lounge fly, and then you have eight different pin designs of Stitch, and they are all related to Summer. These are all so cute. We actually don't have a lot of different varieties of these, so I mean, any of these would be awesome. Yeah, we do have one kind of like where it's fear in the sand, but it is a fantasy pin. Mm. Um, which one are you most into? I really like the one of him in the inner tube, like lounging. Cause that's, I love being in a pool in the summer <laughs> and just like being on a floaty relaxing. So that's the one I would want most. Yeah. I actually think I want the beach chair one just because it looks like it's the biggest one. And like he has like a little coconut that he's sipping on. That's my number two. That's really cute. Yeah, so the one I would say we could do without would be the, is that a ukulele? Yeah. The ukulele one, because um, we have so many of that when he's in like the grass skirt. Mm. And then like the surfer one, we do have a lot of surf stitch, so. I also don't understand the one with the banana. I like that one, I think it's so funny. It is, but the proportion between his head and the banana makes that a very large bu bunch of bananas. Mm. All right, I'll go first since I already started. <laughs> okay, I'm, you, you can't even feel these. There's a black baggie. There's one pin inside each of these. And the first pin, oh, this is cute. I think we have one similar to this though, don't we? No. Stitch is a pineapple. Mm -hmm. We don't have any like this. Oh, he's so cute. It's pineapple stitch. So that is awesome. Um, if you guys are wondering, we did get these ones from Box Lunch's website and then um, some of the other ones we got off of Hot Topic and then Lounge Fly. So those are where we always get our mystery pins from. Okay, so getting in this. These ones are so cute. Mm -hmm. I kind of wish we would have got more. <laughs> um, let's see. This one kind of feels bigger. Oh, no. It's a duplicate already. So that's a bummer. We're not starting off this video very well, so that will be a traitor. If we get four pineapples, <laughs> oh God, that would be the messiest of the messies. Oh, it's a new pin. <laughs> the one we said we didn't want. No, I didn't just want this one. This is Stitch with Surfboard. No, but we have so many Stitch surfing pins. This one is nice though. He's a light blue. He's a lighter shade of blue than I normally think he is. Yeah. So that's cool. I guess we don't have any where he's kind of like trying to get up. He's already up in the most of the ones that we have. You know what they should have done that would have been adorable is Stitch as a lifeguard. Like how cute would that be? Oh, with like a little whistle. Yeah. Or on a Or kind of like a bear watch. Like that'd be so funny. <laughs> Oh my god, guys, we're already down to our last pin box. And, oh no. Yeah, I actually, if this could be any three, because there's so many cute ones, I would want banana, inner tube, or 
the lounge chair. Yes. Good luck. Oh gosh, I'm so nervous. Oh, this is like being in Vegas. Are the odds in our favor? Is it a pineapple? I no longer like pineapples. <gasps> oh my god. That was awful. We have never did that bad, I don't think. <laughs> we haven't done this bad in a while. Yeah. Ugh. So that's kind of garbagey. But if anyone is collecting these and you want a pineapple, we do have many for trade. <laughs> All right, so the next one we're gonna start with is going to be these snack ones that they made out of the Fab Five, Correct. Fab Six, whatever it's called, characters. So you have the same front. And then these are the ones you could get. We did only get four boxes, so um, hopefully no duplicates. <laughs> but you have your um, Donald and Daisy, Goofy, Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto. I would actually say the one I want the most would be Daisy out of this. Just because like, I love my donuts. You do love a pink donut. I would say I either want the Mickey Chase, the Minnie, or the Pluto, just because I like the bar. Any of the bottom row. I went first last time, and clearly that did not do well for us. <laughs> so you should go first this time. Okay. Come on, donut, or Mickey Chase. And we don't have any of these, so obviously this is going to be a new pain. Daisy! Oh, that's cute. I like that pen. That is cute. And this is actually like a pretty good size. Mm -hmm. And I love the colors. Super cute. And you have her bow and all of her classic colors there. I know it's not the same color, but this reminds me when we went to Universal. Universal and I got my Simpsons giant pink donut. It was so good. I just now think of Timmy just going, mmm, donuts. <laughs> Yay, so maybe our luck will turn around. Turn the luck around. Let us see. Oh, I got one that I wanted. Oh, fun. I got like the orange creamsicle of Pluto. And I like, my favorite part about it is that his little collar <laughs> is like hanging off the stick. I like that one. Yay! Oh, I'm excited. This made me happier. That is cute. And there's a bite taken out of it by Johnny. It's interesting <laughs> because we just recently opened the Disney treat pins that we got from that small shop, which we will link that video above. So it's always- They were fantasy pins though. Yeah, exactly. But it's so fascinating to me that there were the fantasy treat pins and then they started releasing them via lounge fly. And it's also the same way that there were those fantasy buttons that people were doing and then by park bond buttons and then Disney started doing a series of buttons too. So I always love seeing how Disney is watching what people are making on their own yeah. and then kind of doing their own version of it. They also like started making their ears more like detailed, kind of like the, yeah. the Etsy or like small shop ears too. I'm all for it. I yeah. love the fact that- We love the varieties. Yes, and that Disney realized that there is a demographic and market for people who want unique special merchandise like that. So like, all here for it. Totally, okay. Let's see, third box of the treats. Let's see what we have. If I were to pick a second besides the Mickey, I would want the Donald's to go with these. True. Is it a duplicate? It's a duplicate. You really love your donuts. <sighs> Another Daisy. <laughs> wah, wah. But you love donuts. Like you manifested I know, donuts. I don't need two. Seriously? Oh my gosh. Is it the stupid one? Another donut? Oh my god. Whoever packed these gave us a lot of duplicates. Three pineapples and three donuts. Well, they don't feel the boxes. They I feel, know. There's no way of feeling like inside these, but that's really, really annoying. We got three duplicates. Twice. And, yeah. And we only have three left, so if these are all the same. We might be cooling it on the pins for a while. Oh dear. Probably not. 
Okay, so the next set we have are the Princess Ice Creams. And there are six options of this. The front of this does say Disney Princess. And then we have Ariel, Jasmine, Belle, Cinderella, Snow White, and of course the Chase that I want. Oh wait, no. The Aurora isn't the Chase actually. The Snow White's the Chase. But I really want the Aurora one and the Little Mermaid. Yeah, I would say the Aurora is my number one. Look at the Little Mermaid one though. The Little Mermaid one, it took me a second to figure out who it was, but look at the way it looks. It looks like there's two eyes and nose and a tiny smiling mouth. <laughs> so like, it doesn't look it like- It kind of looks like Mrs. Pop. Yes! <laughs> Thank you! That is exactly who I thought it was. I was like, why did they make a Mrs. Pop's pin? And then I realized it was Ariel, because it looks like Mrs. Pop with the doily on her head. She's just like really grinning and happy. Yeah. That's funny. It's very interesting that Aurora got two scoops is it because she's the best princess? <laughs> it is. Actually, I, really cool. I want the, my top would be the Aurora or the Belle because I like the rose. Yeah, but the chase on this we don't want, even though it's glittery and going to be pretty, but we don't collect Snow White, so. Am I going first or did you go first? You can go. And we only have three of these? Yeah. I can't feel these. What am I, who am I playing? <laughs> I got one that I wanted. I got the bell one. Although it's interesting that this this looks like an orange sorbet, not like a lemon. Because I would think that Belle would be like a lemon. Her dress is no, yellow. Lemon's too bright. Maybe you're right. But it looks very orange. It's V orange. Yeah, so this would be like a creamsicle. Orange creamsicle. Yeah. It matches the Pluto bar. <laughs> <laughs> So that's pretty. You have the rose up there and like her kind of tears of her dress kind of incorporated in there. And we have a really good Beauty and the Beast bell collection, so like I'm super excited by that. Yeah. Okay, if I could manifest anything, give me the Aurora, please. I'm giving you good juju. You're wearing tie-dye for it. Because the first two sets were a disaster. I'm gonna pick one that was on John's side and maybe it'll be good luck for me. <laughs> So, I don't think it's Aurora because it feels... Okay, we have Ariel. Or Mrs. Potts! <laughs> oh it does actually. <laughs> That's funny. But there is Ariel. I love what they did with her, like, the bottom of this and like make it like scales. But yeah, it does kind of look like a face. <laughs> Remember when they did last Christmas the uh, Disney teacup ones and they had that cat that looked like her head was cut off? Sometimes when you oh, look yeah. at a pin funny, like you just see something that well, was... That was the, um, it wasn't a teacup, it was... Like cappuccinos or something? Yes! It was the yeah. cappuccino series and it looked like her head was cut off and I... And I, obviously the designers, that's not what they were intended, but sometimes when you look at these, you're like, huh, that's funny. <laughs> I don't know why. I just love pins like that that make me laugh. All right. I'm hoping, damn, I don't know if this is a double scoop. Uh, hopefully. You can tell because, like, it's probably going to be tight in the bag. Hopefully we can trade. Really? Another duplicate? Yes. Area? Nope, it's not Mrs. Potts. It's another bell. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, Tim, this is our Such first. a bad unboxing. We haven't had a, ba a pin unboxing like this in a while. So if you've been watching some of our recent videos, we have done very well with some of our wishable unboxings, as well as some of our other mystery pin unboxings, which we will link above and below. So as I always say, the karma pendulum swings both positively <laughs> and less favorably. So today was just not our day, but that does not mean that we did not have a blast, nor does it mean that we <laughs> do not love Disney pins. Because the ones that we got, like I'm into, yeah. and we can always trade with people, but like, oh my goodness. So these are all of them, but they are all summer vibes, so that was just a fun little boost of our mood. 
And yeah, want want so many duplicates. Yeah, so if anyone's looking for a pineapple stitch, a daisy donuts, or a bell ice cream, definitely let us know. We always put our contact information, our Instagram and emails down in the description box. And it was fun to do a summer pin video because before you know it, we are going to be completely covered in winter wear in Chicago and we are going to be missing summer vibes and ice cream. So at least it's a fun reminder of a day in the summer fun sun. Yes. <laughs> so since we got so many duplicates, how about we just say our favorite print out of all of them. Favorite pin would have to be the bell one, I guess. Why not? And I would say, Donut. even though we got three of them, the pineapple stitch would be my favorite because he's just so cute. Let us know what your guys' favorite is and if you have done any of these lounge fly pins and got a lot of duplicates lately because wah wah. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. If you dislike duplicates in pin boxing, please take a moment to give this video a like. And if you're not a subscriber and like Disney pin videos, we'd love for you to consider hitting that subscribe button so be notified of future pin videos, Disney pop culture, game, and lifestyle related content.